Okay, let's take a look at two details, scrolling and position. Check it out. Okay, let's go over song mode versus pattern mode. Pattern mode is where you can produce up to 32 patterns. In regards to this song, song mode playback, pattern 1, pattern 2, pattern 5, and pattern 6. Got that? Super! Okay, let's go over navigating from song mode. Pressing the pattern window will bring you to the mixer. Take note, mixer is selected yellow, and pressing drums will take you to where drums are sorted. Now watch closely. By tapping drums again, a submenu of channels 1 through 6 come to view, along with edit mode of synth, sequencer, and steps. Notice the sequencer and track 1 are highlighted yellow. I'm pressing track 2 and track 3. To tweak sounds for drum track 3, press synth and notice song mode turns to pattern mode. Track 2, change your sound if needed. And track 1. Pressing steps will bring you to all drum tracks. If you want to load a new sound, select the sound here. Got that? Somebody asked me a very interesting question. Where is the undo button? I don't think there's an undo button. How I undo is by reloading the song. So make sure to save often. Let's go over looping. First, select where you want to loop by tapping twice like this. Here is the loop button and here is the loop position. When selected, notice yellow bar turns orange. Notice position 4 is highlighted yellow. The loop button is on, showing it's ready to loop. Are you dizzy? Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm going to play from the very top of the song and then press loop. So watch the song jump from position 1 to position 4. Keep your eyes on the little light, the bar indicator, and my finger tapping the loop on. <laughs> You can see where you are and what pattern is playing here. Okay, last part. Moving the looper around. Watch my finger to see how to go about choosing different positions to loop. Loop what you desire. And we're done.